having Linux on a phone, it's here. This phone is gonna run Linux. All right, without any further ado, the three programs we're gonna need to install Linux are Enronix, Termux, and VNC Viewer. How we're gonna use these programs, you're gonna see. Just be patient, buddy. I'm gonna install these programs now. Yes, it's in German. I am from Germany. Termux, get it? It's like terminal. No, that's why it's called Termux. Enronix and VNC Viewer. That was rather quick, actually. First, we need to go into Enronix, which Linux distribution are we gonna pick? There is quite the variety of distributions to pick. I think I'm gonna go with Ubuntu. Oh no, not a real Linux user. I just want to make it as simple as possible. Yes, I'm gonna pick the desktop environment. I'm sorry, Arch users. I'm not an Arch user, by the way. Maybe sometime else. Just, just not now. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna pick. Okay. We're inside of her mooks. Gotta look up how this works. Just to be safe, you know, I'm a professional. Can you feel me? Basically what I had done at first was copy and paste the command. Like that was all I had to do. And it's going quite smoothly so far. I'll see when it's done, I guess. What is going on here? This is not the Linux I know. There is no error message. You know, like Todd Howard these days would say. Ugh. This just works! Right, it's time to connect this phone with this Bluetooth keyboard. No! I don't want to connect with you! I need to press to FN and then to this Bluetooth key to activate Bluetooth mode. You can see this right here. I am talking with this weird accent on purpose, don't question it. But it's not showing up here! It should work now. Let's test it out. Whenever I press the directional keys, this happens. The D probably stands for down and the C for... I don't know. <laughs> It's doing stuff. This is going way too smoothly. You know, it can't be this smoothly. Something with Linux. No! Installation is pretty much done. We need a new password. Now we gotta pick the resolution. I think I can turn the phone. Piss off. Now what we're gonna have to do is go to VNC server. We're gonna have to add local host one connect. This is my gamer rig right here. Okay, we're inside of Linux right now. Go away. Okay, whatever. This is so cool. I'm we're running Linux on a phone. Okay, terminal. Maybe we should update. Whoa, nothing seemed to work. That's great. Now it's time to do something else. Something we've all been waiting for. Steam. Sudo app install. Steam. Package Steam has no installation candidate. Great. We may need to add another source then. I made a little change of location as you can see here. What we have to do now is add some newer sources. And if I speak a little more quietly than before, it's because my brother is sleeping room next door. Added some new sources. Yes, done. Now we're gonna have to update the distro. What? I need a location package. Hold on a second. Oh, whoa, it's doing stuff. It has not done stuff. I'm gonna see and look if I can find different sources that actually work. Added some new sources here. Let's go. That did something. Let's try to update now. Alright, now we just have to upgrade. All is done. Is it actually working? It's actually doing stuff. Linux working in this economy? Updates are done. Can we install Steam now? Aww. Same thing as before. We need to add the architecture required for Steam. Can we now install Steam? Come on. Fuck. You. Turns out it doesn't just work like that. We're gonna have to download something called Pi Apps. I hope it works like that. Pi Apps is not designed to be installed as root. I have to add a new user. We're gonna call it. Yeah. New password. I really gotta stop talking about these weird accents. Full name. Boom number, what are you talking about? No, no. Oh, I gotta log in as Jeff. Jeff. Let's try to install Pi Apps. What? Oh, come on. It is not installed. This incident will be reported. Shiver me, Timbis. I am once again having to look up something. Isn't Linux great, guys? Gonna have to add the user Jeff, Jeff. to the sudoers list. Jeff. Jeff is part of sudo now. Welcome to the club, Jeff. All right, we are once again logged in as Jeff. Jeff. Try to install Pi Apps once again. Come on. And just use Linux. Yeah, that's what you get when you use Linux. And it's Ubuntu. It's like the easiest one. I log in as Jeff again and see if it works. How many times do I have to do this, man? Great. Let's see if the Apple method of turning it on and off works. <laughs> I hate you. I launched VNC server with Jeff. Jeff. And we're logged in as Jeff.
Let's see if it works now. Fuck you. It does not work. I have to edit the suitors file myself now. Oh, yes. What about now? No way. It actually worked. We're one step closer to Steam. I'm so happy. By the way, as you can see here, I am working on an episode with the PS3. Spoiler, I'm installing Windows on it. Subscribe and like this video if you want to see that. Back to Linux again. That does not look good. We're still gonna try. Uh, I suppose I have to log in to Jeff now and not Rude. Why did I pronounce that so weirdly? Back on Termux. Udo sue Jeff a million times. Star HD. My name is Jeff. No f way it's here it's here man we're gonna run steam on this thing okay wow look at the amount of apps oh it's just a little late games some emulators it's here it's here Damn. install yes please i can't wait for it it is installing it it's doing stuff i'm so hyped right now no steam failed to install no so all of this was for nothing error occurred when installing steam Ugh. i should have known this thing. I really tried. I'm I'm honestly sorry. Look, it's the Android version of Steam. Does that count? I know it doesn't. Hope you still enjoyed it. And like I said, join me next time when this PS3 possibly runs Windows. See you then. <laughs>